Hey guys, it's Beth. Today I'll be using this flower candle holder and some fabric and a shelf liner from Dollar Tree. I started by removing the centerpiece from the little candle holder. It did take a few minutes to get that off, but just pulling it apart with some pliers and twisting it and it came off and I just separated those two flower pieces and then took them and painted both of them with burnt umber acrylic paint. I did two coats front and back. Next, I took the center part of the frame from Dollar Tree that I'm going to be using and just remove that to measure my shelf liner a little bit larger than it. And then I painted that both sides with burnt umber acrylic paint, just one coat. And then I took the frame and painted that with mineral chalk paint by Waverly. I painted the entire thing and gave it two coats. Next, I took the two petals and I added Mod Podge to the whole front. Just a nice generous layer. And if you can't find these at your Dollar Tree, you could always use the disposable plastic spoons. They're about the same shape and they would work just as good. Once I had the Mod Podge applied, I cut out a piece of fabric that was a little bit larger and just pressed it down with my hands and then used my heating tool to adhere it. And then once I had them both stuck on there, I cut off most of the excess and then used these small detailing scissors that I got from Dollar Tree to cut in between each of the petals to get that excess fabric off. In this fabric, I did get from Dollar Tree, but you could also um, find something similar at Walmart. I have some from there as well. And then I just went through and added more Mod Podge to get any pieces that weren't stuck down. And then added Mod Podge to the front of the fabric. And I had also painted one of these wooden beads that I got from Dollar Tree as well with the burnt umber and I painted a small square bigger than the circle and applied that with Mod Podge. Used my heating tool to adhere it. And once I had that top part covered, I went with Mod Podge on the sides and did the same thing. And then I cut off all the excess shelf liner. And then I attached the shelf liner that I had painted with hot glue. I just hot glued the back little lip on the frame. And then just used the back of a paintbrush to push down the shelf liner. And I just did it in sections to make sure I stretched it out so it was nice and smooth and straight so I just went along and did a section at a time after I had it all attached I just cut off the excess shelf liner and then I wanted to make sure it was really stuck on there, so I added some Gorilla Grip glue right on top of the shelf liner. Since it has all the holes on it, the glue will go right through. Once I had the glue on there, I just pushed down the pins on the frame. Next, I took the two flower petals and glued them together with some Gorilla Grip glue and hot glue. And then I put some Gorilla Glue and hot glue on my wooden circle 
and glue that to the center of the top petal. Then I have this little square wooden piece in my craft stash. I think it's a two by two. I placed that underneath the shelf liner, so on the back of the frame, and then just made sure it was centered, added Gorilla Grip glue and hot glue right to the shelf liner so it goes right through onto the wood piece, and then added on my flower. And that is it for this project. I love how it turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching.